Hey guys, it's Leo here, and today this is going to be a tutorial on how to make a YouTube icon using GIMP. Now, I am on GIMP 2.6 at the moment. The latest version, I believe, is GIMP 2.8. But uh, basically, they're basically the same, except for in GIMP 2.8, the this this uh, window looks different, I, and this one too, I think. But they're fairly the same. So if you have GIMP, GIMP sorry, GIMP 2.8, it'll be pretty much the same. Now this video was re requested, God, requested by uh, this guy. I forgot his name. Sorry, uh, Deno. Okay, so yeah, thanks for subscribing. Make sure to subscribe, everyone who's watching this. Anyways, to start making a YouTube icon, I use the dimensions 100 by 100. You can use 80 by 80 or whatever you want, but I just find 100 by 100 gives the best quality for me anyways, in my opinion. Anyways, after you press, you do this, then you press 100 by 100, then you press OK. Make sure it's in pixels, OK? Yeah. Then it'll bring this transparent layer, and you have no layers at the moment. So what you want to do is you want to make a layer, so press this button, the paper button, which will create a new layer. You can name it whatever you want, you can name it later, but I would just, and keep it at transparency, okay? So if you, like, uh, I'll, I'll teach you guys later. Anyways, uh, keep it at transparency, I think that's the default option. Press OK, and there you have it, new layer. This is going to be our background layer, so I'm just going to name it BG. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to make your background. Now I usually just use a gradient. So you press this gradient tool on right here. And then you can stroke and it'll bring the gradients. So a gradient is basically two colors mixed together. It's like a spectrum, well not really a spectrum, but a gradient. So and to change the colors of your gradient, this is the color change tool. So this is the foreground, this is the background. So uh, foreground color, you can change it to white or red, and background, you can change it to black, and it'll be just like reddish black. If you do like this, reddish black. But if you just want like normal then or um, mostly red, then you just do that. If you want to switch the foreground with the middle ground, or foreground with the background, then you just press this switch button, and there you have it. So for the sake of the tutorial, we'll just be using blue because I like blue. I like orange too, but blue and black. So if I did this, it would bring out the blackness, but let's just, you know what? Yeah, sure. So yes, um, you can screw around and mess around with this a little. So this, uh, you can go to filters and you can do whatever you want. You can just test everything out. Like uh, when I started to do, uh, when I started uh, GIMP, I basically, I just tried everything, like everything, from file to help so yeah it, it'll help you if you just do everything like this but uh, I'm not gonna get into that right now so after you have your background and you screw around with that like for example I'll just show you once um render clouds no render I forgot which one it was uh, clouds plasma I am not sure actually I am I have no idea I haven't used GIMP in a, I haven't used GIMP in a while. So, but um, yeah, screw around that. I think something, nothing happened. Put this on. Okay. Um. So yeah. Okay. Wait. What's this? Oh, this is yeah. But this plasma. It's nothing really. Um. Let Let me find it first. I think it was flames pattern nature. Yeah, nature flame. All right. So basically, this one it'll load up. Sorry, uh, my internet, or my, not my internet, my computer's really crappy. So basically, it'll load up, and it, it'll it just take a while, so I'll just wait. Okay, there you go. So based on your foreground or middle ground, this will create a random cool-looking picture uh, or a render like this. And basically, if you edit it, you can variation, you can do rings or, like, waves, or anything I'm just gonna use wave sure and then you do that and you press ok and then you like for this color map you can use the custom gradient or you can use anything you want um, you press ok and there you have it so um, alright yeah make sure to make um, another layer for this because 
if I repeat this, then you'll not do anything. Why? Oh, it's loading. Okay. But yeah, make sure to create another layer when you're doing anything. You're not sure what what will happen. Um, if it doesn't work, you know, you can always undo it. So that that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna get into that as I said. But basically, uh, we're just gonna use this Harold Ryan picture. So next thing you want to do is get your picture, copy. No, yeah, copy. Sure, why not? Uh, I I would just uh, uh for me, I'm copying at the same time. But you would you should just do save image as to have better quality and save it and then when you're in GIMP file open as layers and find your image right here and no pop up but I copied mine and as you can see it's really big make sure when you're copying and pasting something it says right here on the layers channel floating selection pasted layer you have to press new layer to make it actually a real layer because it'll screw up if you don't and by the way if you don't have this these two then go to windows recently closed docs or dockable dialogues and you'll find the layers and channels and stuff anyways once we have this as you can see it's really freaking big so we're just gonna scale it down to size now this will ruin the quality but I don't really care at the moment so what you wanna do is use your scale tool press this once if you want it to scale uh, locked dimensions so it'll be like better then you hold down control okay or not, not not control sorry shift hold down shift and drag it down and then move it up a little and then hold down hold and drag use don't forget to hold that shift button or that sorry control button wow don't forget to hold that control button because if you don't it'll be screwed up like I'll show you hold on so if you don't hold it you can do like this it's, you know you don't want that right so um yeah make sure to hold control while you're doing this I'm just gonna make a random minecraft thing uh, actually I liked it bigger made it maybe a little smaller like that okay now once you have this picture you don't you wanna get rid of the black thing so you can actually see your background okay so what you wanna do is you want to use your magic tool now bait uh, most of the pictures they usually have a black or white background or your renders anyways so sorry whoops BG no what you wanna do is you wanna go to your pasted layer name this name this uh, Minecraft or uh, Herobrine or whatever you call that um then you click on the black spot and it'll magically you know uh, find all the black spots then you press delete and there you have it so but you can still see some black dots but um, I want this actually this way and just do that so this is kinda hard but this is oh, it's not hard but it's annoying to do so what you wanna do is you wanna zoom this up you can either press control and scroll or there's a zoom button where it helps you zoom and then you want to get your eraser tool out and you want get on the hero brand layer and you want to basically just erase oh make sure you do hard edge because then it'll erase everything so yes sorry about this this is kind of the annoying part that y'all have to do but um yeah I think I'm running out of time. How much time have I recorded? Eight minutes. Okay. So we should probably hurry this up. Just saying. And you go back to 100. Then you press that. And you'll find everything back again. Now, if you want your Harold Ryan to be like flashy and you want it, you know, just um, have a white glow to it, you, you do this. Uh, sorry, that was that was a very good explanation. Basically, uh, you click the hero brand layer. See this eye thing? You left click or right click it, and then it'll bring up this thing. You do alpha to selection, and it'll go around it. Then you press the select button, press grow, and grow by how many uh, how many pixels you want. I'll do four for now. You make a new layer, and you want to use your brush or your um, paint bucket tool. Make your foreground white or black. If you want it to glow black, then go black. Yeah, and there you have it. Select none. Make sure, since uh, Harold Brian is under this layer, 
it will not show so you gotta move this down and it'll show now as you can see it's really crappy if you want it blurry or blur you go to filters blur Gaussian blur it'll bring up it'll bring up it'll bring up this thing <laughs> so if you want it to blur like really hardcore blur then you do 40 and that's what that's what it looks like but I would just do 10 or 5 depending on what you want I'll do 10 and there you have it it's a really cool blur it's a cool effect that you can do and last part if and make sure you um, you don't have to do this but merge down so it becomes one layer so if you yeah one layer anyways uh, now you can do your text uh, FP studios and you can download uh, a font from dafont.ca or .com I think but basically uh, I'll just use a custom font or a font that I downloaded ST SF whatever and move this down and if you want to change the color go to the FP studios go to color go to black and yeah that's about it that's your logo so I know this is a really simple tutorial but hopefully I can get up a lot of more tutorials on GIMP and how to actually use it this was just how to make a random icon but um, maybe I will make another video on the filters how to use the filters I'm actually not that good myself I just like I'm decent I guess but um, yeah thanks for watching uh, hope you guys have a good day or night or whatever wherever you are that did not make sense but yes uh, thanks for watching comment like subscribe and I'll see you guys later